All right, so I've been having oil issues with compressor one locking out. Um, now check the pump pressure. The pressure is good at the pump. I pumped down the compressor. So it, uh, the valves did hold back. But I don't know if you can hear that. Sounds like it's coming from the unloader head. Because when, when it switches, I believe it's six. When it's energized, it sounds a little better. So I'm at the point where I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull these and just check the plates, check the pistons. But it could be something internally where oil's just flowing through. But I wanna check that first before I condemn the compressor. Uh, originally, you know, I just, I couldn't get a good pressure on the reservoir. Now, oh, it's really blurry, man. It's at 75, we have a 52 pound suction so that's that's good I I just saw dirt during different times it would be equal to so the reservoir pressure was equal to the suction header pressure so I had changed the check valve um, this is a 20 this was a 20 pound but I still that was barely like eight pounds over suction so I came back and I said you know what? I'm gonna try putting in a 30 pound and everything looked great it looked great after that but um, I occasionally still have problems with this one cutting out that's a new that's a new oil pot oil level control and so I'm gonna pull this compressor apart. I'm gonna pump it down and open her up just to inspect it. All right, I got my gauge on. I'm going to just loosen the packing before I try to turn it. Run it in. Compressor's calling, it's running. I'm getting closer. It's pumping down and we're blocked off. Right, we'll flip it off. And check the gauge. Without, without compressor one unloading, running and unloading, uh, compressor two just kicks on in short cycles. I've had them check the program out. Really, really there should be an unloader on this head, which if I had more time, that's, I'd love to do that. I'd love to put an, an unloader and wire it to the contacts up here. I believe, yeah, we can do it on eight, it's open on this board. And add another stage. But I got a lot of other issues to deal with before I can start redesigning. So, all right, we got like 10 pounds. Let's bump this again.
checked the, I've checked it a couple times and it pumps down and it, you know, after I bump it once, it holds, you know, relatively around zero. But you're gonna have some rise with the oil. You know, any refrigerant in the crankcase and the oil boiling off. But after like 30 seconds, it should start to settle out. Since this one short cycles, you know, I made sure that I have these EPRs adjusted to where at least one, now while I have compressor one running and suction pressure stable, adjust the EPRs to keep them open so they don't satisfy. That's that's what they like. Um, to to keep load on the rack. But really, if you had a friggin' unloader, it'd be, it'd be a little more stable, in my opinion. So. Okay, it's been about a minute, and we're still down there. So I'm going to shut the discharge off and the oil inlet. which I probably should have shut the oil inlet off before I'm gonna crack the packing. Before I pump it down, I should have had the inlet off. There's my service wrench. You see now I got it to now it filled up because I it's not a big deal. I have it shut now. I'm going to shut the discharge and yeah we're good to go. I'm shutting the discharge and I'm gonna start opening it up. Alright the car in the car line manual it's it specifies to keep the plate on the compressor when you pull the head off. So it looks like there is some wear in the gasket, but it wasn't passing through. Possible that unloader's messed up, or I'm gonna look at the piston. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the plate all the way off rather than disassemble it from the outside. Um, I have the service manual here. Can't read it, but 06DR. That's a 06DR. Valve plate package. 06DA. It sucks you can't see nothing. I'm trying to focus. 06DA66151. And I had this on my truck. That looks like the right one. So I do have gaskets and a plate if I need it. Unfortunately, I only have one. But I'm gonna pop that off and see, see what it looks like. Now the pistons look fine. You know, there's no tips or really much signs of wear. They're alarming. It looks like the gaskets may have been rubbing. You know, maybe get lucky it was just a bad gasket. But on this this head, every time I felt it when I was running, the low side was cool. And I only have one plate, so I'm gonna leave this on. I'm gonna see if I can get that noise to stop and see if I can keep oil in there. You can kind of see the gasket might have been rubbing here, and that loud noise might have just been the, the gasket fluttering when the unloader would actuate. So I'm gonna I go put that new plate in and we'll see what happens. 
Uh, if that doesn't work, I'll likely uh, just get a new compressor. All right, I cleaned up the uh, piston and the face of the compressor. Put the suction valves in and the little springs. We picked out the uh, right gaskets, have everything put together. Uh, it's gonna be hard to do while filming, but I usually put a couple bolts, one on either side, and then carefully place it on and keep a good eye making sure that the suction valves stay in place and then tighten it up so i'm gonna do that now occasionally you might have to trim the gasket but not with, not with this model some models you have to um, but in that case they usually come with directions so all right i'm gonna put it back on all right it's all back together all tightened up, reconnected the uh, high pressure switch connection on the high side. <coughs> I drained a little oil out of it and we'll see if it fills up. So just the drain part there, it's all tightened back up. Because the level was a little high because I pumped it down, I didn't have that off. So, But I, I think I have a little too much oil in the rack anyway. That way, when you start it up, we're not trying to compress oil and end up making the situation worse. Well, yeah, one of the first things I did was, you know, I replaced the filter, so that's new. All right, so there is my rent. This is still closed, that's still closed. I'm going to crack the suction and purge it. everything up and see what happens, see if that noise goes away and see if we can maintain an oil level. Alright. Alright, so it's still making a little noise. My net oil pressure is going between 22 and 10. Oil level looks better. And it's been holding the past 15 minutes. See, still, still don't sound good. I'm debating whether I should even try changing the pump, but I mean, it's something internal in this compressor is not right. I don't even think I'm going to go that route because I do have good pressure and that it, it gets lower, but I haven't seen it at the point where it make it trip. So if there's a bad bearing in there, it could be passing oil um, and just blowing it through. But the plates are good. That's nice and cool on the low side of this head. That one's brand new. So I'm, I'm likely going to get rid of this compressor. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, other tech opinion. We have uh, quality assurance, and the gentleman has, you know, has 40 years of field experience. So I'm going to ask his what I should do, and go from there. But hopefully, you know, maybe maybe it'll be all right. We'll see. We'll see if I get the call back. Thanks for watching. So yeah, I've been keeping an eye on it for the past 25 minutes, and the level even went down to here and it's starting to fill up again.
so you really shouldn't be able to sit here for a short period of time and watch the oil level drop. You know, that's a sign of a bad internal bearing. So I'm pretty sure that QA is gonna tell me just to get a new compressor. That's, at this point, that's what I wanna do.